We are going to quickly go over the sum it up and the brain check that you worked on this week. So number one was showing when a seed germinates, the tiny plant and the seed grows. We know from looking back in our book, Germination, they talked about that on earlier in on the garden page. So right here, I found the word germination and it shows a seed starting to sprout. So I know the answer is D. Number two, the female part of the flower is the pistil. The male part is are the stamens. And if I look at these pictures, I know B is showing the plant parts. Number three, in order to make new seeds, flowers or cones need to be pollinated by animals, wind, or water. So I know that there are two pictures of animals right here. And I know the answer is E. So the answer is E, so write that in. Number four, seeds can travel by water, wind, or on an animal's body or inside an animal's body. So I see a squirrel right here. He's holding that acorn and the answer is A. Number five, it is important for people to know how to grow plants because much of our food, clothing, and medicine comes from plants. So I see a person right here planting some seeds and I know the answer is C right there, very good. So go ahead and pause this part right here so you can check your crossword puzzle. Okay, so on this part here, number two, it says draw the life cycle of a flowering plant. So you would have to go through, and in this picture for germination, you should be drawing a little seed with a small root coming out of it. Just kind of draw, it doesn't need to be perfect. For growth, you would draw a young plant. You draw some soil, some roots coming out of it, stem, some leaves coming up. Number, or the bottom part is pollination. So you should show a plant being pollinated. So just draw some soil, roots coming down, a plant. and then I am going to draw a little bee. He's bigger than I expected. There he is, he's flying, and he's going right towards that flower. Mm, that's a crazy looking bee, but it's fine. Okay, circle the structures used by plants to reproduce. So, the structures used by plants to reproduce. Okay. Number four, list three ways the plants can be pollinated. If you look back in the text, we know that it can be pollinated by animals, by wind, or by water. Number five, look at the seed shown here. How do you think the seed is spread? Explain your answer. So here's an example answer. So the seed is spread by the wind. It has a structure that helps the the wind, pick up the seed and carry it away. So it kind of reminds me of that maple seed experience, experiment, if any of you did that. Where it kind of like twirls and it flies off into the wind. Okay, <clears throat> so here it says draw a picture of a flower and label its parts. That part's pretty easy. You would just go through and label the plant parts. You can go back in the text and you can label it just like we did there. Number seven, explain how pollination is different from fertilization. So what I did, boys and girls, is I went back in the text and I looked up the definition of pollina pollination and then I looked up the definition of fertilization. So here's a sample answer. Pollination is the process of pollen moving from the male part, the stamen, to the female part, the pistil. So it's the process of it moving there. So that is pollination. Fertilization is when the two parts actually meet, the pollen and the egg. When they're actually meeting, it's called fertilization. The process of it moving is pollination. So that's the difference. Number eight, just circle the pollinators. Oops, forgot one. So that is it for your brain check and sum it up. I hope you guys did well on that. Keep up the amazing work.